Part of my mental health plan is to care for small animals. And so on my three acre property in Enumclaw, Washington, I rescue small farm animals with no place to go. Among them are two of my favorite, Huck and Hannah, miniature Nigerian dwarf goats. Now Huck is a bit of a troublemaker, but Hannah is so sweet and so lovable. Her face is split down the middle, half black and half white. And any time I come to the pen to feed them or water them or groom them, she always cocks her head to the side with an inquisitive look, as if she's trying to understand the words that I'm saying to her. She's so lovable and so sweet. But Hannah has a problem. She cannot stop eating the chicken feed. And the chicken feed is not healthy for her. It can cause her all kinds of medical problems. So I have erected multiple barriers to prevent her from gaining access to the chicken feed. From chicken feeding devices to gates and fences and even a solid wooden box to prevent her from getting the chicken feed. But nothing stops her. There's no barrier that can prevent her from getting what she wants, even when it's not healthy for her. The other day I found Hannah bloated laying on the ground and I knew immediately she'd gotten into the feed. I called the vet and they came and they pumped her full of charcoal, gave her multiple shots to try and help her recover from all the grain that she had eaten. The prognosis was grim. After all the barriers I had put in place and all of the work that the veterinarian had done, my little Hannah still passed away. I was saddened by her passing, and as I lay there that night in bed, crying out to the Lord for the loss of my small little Hannah, the Lord impressed something profound on my heart. He showed me that as much as I li loved that sweet little goat, and as many barriers as I tried to put in her path to prevent her from doing something that would hurt herself. That's exactly how God feels about the addict who continues to go back to the drugs even though they know that they will hurt them. All the barriers that God puts in place to stop them and they still push forward to the thing that will kill them. In that moment when God revealed his heart to me, I broke down and bitterly wept. Not for my Hannah, but for all of those who are out there lost in the pain of their past, who are struggling with addiction, who continue to go back to the very thing that they know will cause them pain. How God's heart breaks for those who are caught in addiction and how much greater his love is for us than my love for my little goat. In that moment, I felt the heart of God and how he loves each of us tremendously. How his love for me is the same as it is for those caught in addiction. And now I have a new look at addiction, new compassion, and a new mission to reach those who are struggling with addiction.